the most common treatment for back pain really is physical therapy and medical management with anti-inflammatories and muscle relaxers. The next step up probably would be either a CAT scan or an MRI to get a clearer diagnosis. And then based upon those, we'll often ask patients to undergo what are called epidural steroid injections. The injections are really for patients who are having nerve pain, that is pain shooting down the leg. And the injections really work marvelously to help control that. You may think that as a spine surgeon, everyone who walks in the office ends up requiring surgery, but that's quite not the truth. Even though we're at the very pinnacle of the treatment pyramid, there are many patients we advise not to have surgery. There are patients who are not ready for surgery. And uh, we'll sit down and discuss the patient's problem, their diagnosis, we'll go over the studies. And in most cases, I let the patient make the decision whether they're ready for surgery or not. And of course, it depends upon whether they've been through all the non-operative steps and failed those. And also, it depends upon how strongly their pain impacts their lifestyle. If they can live with the problem and it's not causing significant muscle weakness or anything like that, then they can live with it as long as they want to put up with it. There are a handful of conditions where surgery really is strongly indicated. Uh, one would be any of the red flags, such as if someone has loss of control over their bladder, that's a surgical emergency. You don't have much of a choice on that. Another would be if someone presents the office with profound weakness, like a foot drop. There's not much choice there. You need surgery or you're never going to get that back. But in most of the cases, it's really a matter of when the patient really uh, is ready for it, if they've failed all the non-operative steps, and if their life is really being impacted.